hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. Uh, a follower sent me the following picture, this is this one, and asked me how I would make these uh, indentations here, this, this, this uh, grooves here, in, for this object. <laughs> so we don't model this whole object because it's just some cylinders. And if you have seen my tutorials before, you should be able to make this, this cylinder thing and everything. So uh, let's make this and, and I have seen this and I thought yeah I try to model this because we can try it with pool but with pool we can we could get some problems to make here around edges around this in grooves here and so I modeled it I tried it to model and it works quite fine but then I tried it with pool too and I was really surprised that with with pool it works uh, very good as well so. I want to show you both uh, ways. At first I show you the, the, the modeling way and then the second I show you this, the bevel, uh, not the bevel, the, the pool uh, way. So if you don't want to see the, the uh, modeling way, just the pool, so, so press forward and, and go to the pool part, pool part, not pool part. To the pool part we can go summer. Okay, anyway, let's start with the cylinder. Blup. Height of 30 about. Let's see how, how I can remember my, my test. And then I, for the modeling I don't need the whole cylinder here. I need just a, an eighth of the of it or something. Uh, but first, yes, uh, I make caps, filler caps, and they don't need this. Here about eight is okay. Then I want here on the cap segments I want two. That's it because I want just uh, the p one part of this here. So four four polygons I need for my flower grooves. And yeah, that's. It, and now I slice it from 0 to 45 is more than enough. Nice piece of cheese. And of course I don't need as many segments here, so 8 is here okay. That should work. The next thing I copy this cylinder, so control, drag it down and hide this one. So if I do something wrong, if I have a backup, and now I am. Uh, convert this cylinder. So I go to my edit optimize script. Okay. And then go in the polygon mode. Take this and this polygons and delete it. Just hit delete on your keyboard. Next part I don't need here down it is this, this uh, fillet. So go in the side view. Point mode in the rectangle selection and select these points here, T for scale, and scale it down to exactly null. Hold your shift key so you have increments, and, and null, we are totally flat here. That's exactly what I want. The next thing is, uh, I want these polygons here, uh, quite as long as this one, so I want go to edge mode, Move tool and double click here the edge, so I have a loop selection. Now I go in the slide mode, this is MO on the keyboard, and I can slide this whole edge here. And it's about something like here would be okay, I think. Yes, that's okay. Nice. So again I go in the move tool with E on your keyboard, double click here, and double click here on an edge and ms for beveling bevel i do about 0.5 and i want not jumper i want solid here and enter okay that's what i want and now i go in my polygon mode life selection take these four polygons then I for inner extrude, offset of 0.5 should be okay. 
apply and now I want a second time. I went to do to, to index two twice. So we'll go to new transformation and have the second one. And back to the live selection. Do the same here. I apply and new transformation. Here I apply new transformation and once again I apply new transformation. Okay, that's what I want here. Now I go in the point mode and select some points. This one, this one, this one, and this one, and just drag them down. So about 3.5 or something else. That's too much. You see this, 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 uh, Phone break then and, and a little bit before the phone break begins, so something like 3.5 so should be okay. So, okay. Next thing, I can E from move tool. Again, uh, we are we are, so and in the edge mode, I double click here on the edge, so I have again a loop selection here, and bevel this a little bit. MS for beveling. Charm fair is okay here. No subdivisions is okay and probably just a little bit so so that we have here some something like quotes here so quarters. Okay. And now if we put this in a subdivision surface, so select our cylinder here, Alt click on the subdivision surface, we get something like this. Okay, good for the start. Here I want to go a little closer with the points. So, back in the point mode. I take this point and this one. T for scale, but you see our axis is not uh, right for scale now. So let's go. I click on the T for scale and here we are on the, the modeling axis from axis to normals. And now see we can wonderful uh, the scale in the, in the X axis. Scale a little bit and now I hold your shift key and go to about 50% should be okay here. Okay. Same here. Select these two points. Transform and Hold the shift key to 50%. Same here. Transform and shift key. With the last, uh, we, you can toggle between the last two uh, tools you had you, uh, if you press the space bar. You see I'm here now. Now I want in the live selection, so I press the space bar. I'm in the live selection now. I select this and this. And now I press again the spacebar and I'm back in the in the trans uh, in the scale tool and up to 50. Okay. So let's see what we get. Ah, that's a little better. Let's see if we can play here something with the edge break here. Uh, it's better without the edge break. Okay. Of course, now we have uh, we need a whole cylinder, not just this one part here. So, select our cylinder, go to the MoGraph cloner, Alt click on the cloner, and we go from linear to radial. We need the X set axis. No radius, and we had an eight of this uh, cylinder, so we need eight pounds. So we are here. If we now go to the, we get this, but you see we have some problems here. We have here something, and here some seams. Here we have a hole. So let's put, uh, let's uh, select our cloner here, and. Put all, everything in a connect object. With the cloner selected, Alt click on the connect and whoop. Now you see everything looks fine here again. 
The only problem we have, you see here, is this here. Let's go to the connect object and here under the phone mode, not as breaks, we go to average. And you see, like magic, everything disappears. And that's it for this first part. Looks quite nice, I think. And if you think, uh, yes, uh, poof, this, this uh, groove, grooves, yeah, uh, they are not deep enough, so no problem. We have a very nice hierarchy here, so let's go to the isopalms here so we see it better. We can go to our cylinder here, point mode. Let's disable this for the moment. Go to our points here, so I select our points. One, two, three, four. Now I go back to the axis tool. We know we, we change the axis tool from the modeling axis back to axis. Now I go to the subdivision, go to the interactive render, and now I can just drag this down here. As far as I think I like it. Yeah, that looks better, of course. Yep, this is our first one. And now let's make this with the with the uh, bull. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> yeah. Okay. The height is everything here. Don't need this for the moment. This is test one. Okay, we need a new cylinder. Go cylinder, we had 30 high. It's okay, let's go back to the wireframe mode. Okay. Here on this test one, we have 24 uh, uh, these grooves. I think it's 24. We had uh, three, uh, four, eight, no, this is 34, 34. We had four each segment, so the, and eight times, yeah, 34. But here we will do it with 36, this is, that's okay. So let's go to our cylinder here. This will be our base. This is 36 segments. Uh, let, let's make it with 32, it's okay. So we have the same amount. Okay. Next way here is go to the caps. Fillet again, same here with eight. And now Yes, and make here again some, it's okay, this should be okay, this should be okay. Okay, make a copy, so control drag it and hide this one, it's so our backup again. Now we uh, convert this with the edit optimize, go in the side view. Rectangle selection, here only select visible elements, no, so we need all here. Again, T for scale and scale it down to null. Hold your shift key so you have the increments. Okay. Uh, that's it for the base for the moment. Uh, let's make uh, here and here uh, and bevel, so go to the edge tool, move tool, double click it here, and double click it here, 
To add the selection, you just hold the shift key so you can add the selection. Then ms for beveling 0.5 with solid. Okay. We have it here now. And now we need another cylinder to pull. So I take another cylinder, make the orientation to plus set, and drag it on the side a little bit so then I can see it later. And this cylinder will have. Uh, can I remember? I think I had a radius of 3. And here 20, I think. Yeah, that should, should be okay. So this will be our pool. Now we have to put this one in our in the cloner. Uh, normally I would make the cloner with the Alt click on the cloner. But if I would do like this, uh, I, had, I would have the cloner in the middle of the cylinder. But I want to have the cloner here, exactly in the middle of the scene. So I just go to the MoGraph and click on cloner without any other uh, key or something else. And now I put the pool in the, in the cloner. And now I'm exactly in the middle here. And have the, or the original pool cylinder here, so I can change it every time when I see it. If I click on it, and I'll show it later. So, but I need it radial. In exit, and we had 32 segments here, so I want 32 things. So I have an, on every edge one cylinder here. So now I go up with the cloner, somewhere like here. Let's see. Yeah, this is okay for the moment. I need a smaller radius here. Something like this is okay, so that they are in the middle somewhere. That's okay. Maybe so. Okay, and I need to rotate them. Go to transform and rotate them about. Minus 20, so, so. Okay. Now I take a pool. Pool, 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 pool. Click on the pool. Put it over the base and put the base in the pool. And I put the cloner in the pool. Under the base. And now I get this. First thing I need is to in the pool I hide the new edges. So I see I have here a lot of segments, but this we can uh, change. We go to our pool here and go from 36 to about 8. You see, we have a very nice mesh here. Now deactivate the pool and go closer here and I go down with the cloner almost here don't don't go over this edge here just almost this this would be too much so just something like that okay and now again we have this okay that looks quite nice And now we, we have to be careful. So we go to our pool, we have to convert it because we want to make a selection around this here and, and bevel this one so that we don't have hard edge, uh, we have harder edges. If we put this now in a an, in an subdivision surface, let's make it, select the pool and alt click on the subdivision surface. It looks like, this. it looks quite nice, but <laughs> it looks quite nice, but I don't want to have such hard edges here. 
and uh, in the bool you know, we have to go to create single object and then it looks like this and that looks not so fine so let's add this for the moment uh, I forgot something here I want to to bevel this too here so deactivate the bool hide the cloner for the moment go to the base we have a lot uh, uh, possibilities here so uh, go to the edge mode move tool and double click here so I have this MS for bool 05 is okay solid no let's give more jumper here that should be okay maybe well it should be okay Okay, and now again, cloner, bool, and now subdivision service. Now we have harder edges here on the bottom, on the top. So okay, that's what I want. And the next is we have to convert it, but uh, we need this uh, selection here. And for this, the bool is very, very intelligent, very clever. Here is part select intersections this is what we need this makes this or if we uh, convert it it makes for us everywhere a selection where the where the two uh, objects intersect and this is exactly what we need so uh, I want to uh, back up this pool so I make my backup here backup folder just a null with backup named and 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 hidden, so I go to my pool and control drag it in the backup folder, deactivate everything here. So, and now I go to my pool. Let's see, okay, create single object is okay. We need this height, uh, high quality is okay, height edges is okay. Uh, create foam break. Can we can, yeah, why not? everything and for and, and the uh, most important is this select intersections so go to the pool and go to the edit optimize script okay and you see here now an uh, selection tag and if we double click on it you see we have everywhere everything selected and this is exactly what we need and now imagine what uh, how much work it would be to, to select everything it is not possible with a loop selection or something else so we had we would have to have it uh, we we uh, I don't know what I mean this, this to make this manually is a horrible work so and we have the selection tag too we have everything we need so what we can do now is we go to the pool uh, select it go to our bevel deformer shift click on it so the bevel becomes child of it then we drag our selection tag in this pool you see the selection tag is called i for the intersection and don't use, use angle don't need this is too much here we have 0.5 uk yes and again solid and we have a bevel around our things here around our uh, grooves and if we go to this now we, it looks like this and we are ready that's it and I never thought that we can do it so nice with with the with the uh, bevel tool it's great I like it okay so we are done this is these are the two ways how we can do this and i think we can think we can be very satisfied with this let's see this here and this so we can i think we could we can be really satisfied with it okay and that's it for this tutorial it's as i said it's more than a mini tutorial from uh, but uh, it's almost half an hour that's okay 
And again, uh, uh, this weekend it will be will come a, a longer tutorial, and I work on uh, in a, on a big tutorial about my wooden enterprise I, I made. And but this will have uh, um, uh, parts. Uh, I don't know how many parts uh, I make, but but it needs a little bit. But now it it's getting more quiet, uh, uh, and 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 I have a little more time and can do a little more. So let's see how it contains. Yeah, that's it for the day, and uh, yeah, have a nice day and and. Yeah, we, uh, we don't have to texture this, I think, but it's just a black uh, texture with, uh, with sh black shiny texture, metal texture. But if you want to see how the texture is, uh, just write me in the comments or write me in, on my Facebook site. Uh, so of course, we can texture this too. And, and I give you the project file too, so the, you will find every link in the description as usual. And yeah, that's it for, for this tutorial. So I wish you a nice, here is an evening, here is evening in, in Vienna. Wish you a nice evening, wish you a nice day, wish you a nice everything. And yeah, so tschüss und baba.